back again with Rudy in the LA office. Today, we're gonna go to West Hollywood. We're gonna go see our eight unit luxury apartment complex. We've got some issues going on there. Rudy's gonna walk me through the job. We're gonna try to solve it and uh, maybe some other things. So join us as we go to West Hollywood. Well, stopped at Winchell's because Rudy doesn't go anywhere unless I feed him first. Every single video, we're stopping and eating something. All right, a few months ago, I did a video that said our new project and I went like this over and that thing was a big ditch, but we're here now. Looks like they are Parking lot garage is done. First floor is done. Second floor is done. Third floor is done. We still have fourth floor still coming in. Let's go check out progress. I have not been to my job site. This is my job site for my company. I sold it eight months ago. I've only been to this job site twice, guys. I'm not saying that to like pat myself on the shoulder. I'm saying that because you can run your business from 1200 miles away. If you know what you're doing, you have the right system and you've got the right guys. But let's go take a look. The one time, the one time I get to wear my Klein carbon fiber hard hat, I don't bring it. I might have to borrow one from the guys. One major issue we had here at this job is that the building owners pulled the permits, but it took the city three years to get the permits. Well, it so happens here that Southern California Edison, whose pole we're gonna be using, when you apply for the building, their permit or their reservation lasts two years. Their permit here to have the utilities that they need expired a year before they started construction. What a nightmare for us. We had to completely rechange everything around and get this job done for this client, but it took a lot of time and effort and you need to charge for that. So one of the big changes from the utility was before they were supposed to go underground, pipe it underneath the parking lot and come up from an underground feed to our 800 amp switch gear. Because of that mess up, this pole was actually behind me on the plans and it was nowhere in sight. So when I did my initial site visit, I recognized that. So now they're making us put two surface mount pole boxes and then we're gonna pipe down. Again, an additional seven or $8,000 that the owner didn't have to do. If they had hired us earlier, we would have known that the permit was gonna expire from the utilities. They wouldn't have this problem. I know all you union guys are freaking out right now because we don't have our hard hats on. We know it, trust me. Unfortunately, mine's 1,200 miles away in Montana and Rudy didn't bring me an extra one because maybe he doesn't want his paycheck this week. I don't know. All right, so big problem that we have is with the owners, it's a little hard to communicate back and forth because they're dealing with their engineer. Our electrical plans are mismatched with some of the architectural plans. So now, you know, West Hollywood, big problem, you better follow the rules. We got everything on our architectural is calling for ADA compliant. Well, Disabilities Act, right? American Disabilities Act. Changes the box locations and everything. That's what we're discussing right now, so. Okay, so they just gave me some information. Super important when you're doing commercial. If you don't have the right guys that know what they're doing, that's my guys right here. Come and take a look. Before they poured the deck, most of our conduits come in into this section right here. Afterwards, they put in these stairs and they realized they messed up and they didn't put a wall to support these stairs. The problem is they needed to drill into the deck to get their rebar. We're afraid that they tapped in or they drilled into our conduit. Now we have to manual the whole thing. That technically is a change order. It's gonna take a lot of time and effort or we'll just go ahead and do it and pull the full string and try not to charge it. Super important, your guys know what's going on. They caught it, they let the architect know, but they said they had no choice. They had to support it somehow. Be careful when you're doing commercial. It could get messy, but if you charge for it, then who cares, right? <laughs> it's not our problem. The problem is having your client pay it. That's the problem because they're never going to admit that it's their fault and none of the other trades are. So you got to document everything. You got to write it down. You got to take pictures. That's the lesson learned. All right. That takes care of it for us here in West Hollywood. If you got something out of this video, hit subscribe and we will see you on the next one.